there's a blizzard in the forecast for the next few days in the US and it's actually going to be a pretty big one in the Rockies and further east but even here in the Cascades I'm expecting maybe a few inches or maybe up to a foot of snow so I'm heading out toward Mount Bachelor today I checked the webcam already and it's stormy and snowy up there already so I can't wait to get out, uh, get up a little bit further, higher into the elevation and film with you guys in the snow with my snowshoes and uh, we'll just have a blast out there. everyone, this is Andrea of Adventures and Dreams and I'm bringing you another episode from the Cascade Mountains today but this time, like I said, it's a camping adventure in the snow and I haven't done this in two years I wasn't able to go last season in the winter because of my move here to Oregon and I just can't wait to be in my tent again and be in the snow and the wind and uh, it's looking very promising my friends I think we found our camping spot for the night it's a little bit off the trail but it's not as far as I wanted to go actually I saw uh, the path going down to swampy lakes uh, kind of a steep hill and with my sled and everything I didn't want to take it all the way down there and then have to haul it back up the hill <laughs> so uh, I'm just finding a place up here up on top of the hill and away from foot and ski traffic.
snowing pretty hard on and off and there is really not much I can do this afternoon. It's about 4.30 over here and uh, yeah, I've just been sitting in the tent, setting everything up, my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag and everything else. So yeah, I'm just gonna spend the afternoon and the evening here in the tent, um, staying warm and cooking some dinner later on with you guys. But uh, it's been really fun so far. Uh, the snowshoeing went much better than I thought, as well as the sled, the construction that I did with my little uh, pipes. I'm going to add a link in the description below for the instructions on how to create this pull system. I found it on YouTube and uh, it was such a helpful video that I want to share it with you guys also. And I am really grateful that this uh, content creator set this up uh, for everyone to learn. Otherwise, I would have been in trouble to try to pull my sled just with a string. That would not have worked. <laughs> I think it needs 20 minutes to finish. Just a long time when you're hungry. I thought that maybe I could eat outside because it stopped snowing for a little while, but there was no such thing. The moment I stepped outside, it started snowing again. So yeah, I um, have to cook in the tent as I almost always do when I camp in the winter, but it's okay. I'm not too worried about it. but I will bring you guys back tomorrow when we break down the camp and head back home. But I can't wait how much snow there will be around the tent because it's already piled up quite a bit, almost halfway up the tent uh, on the sides from sliding down. So anyway, I will talk to you guys in the morning and I'm just gonna enjoy my rest of the evening uh, listening to an audiobook maybe and just peace and quiet <laughs> that was the snow <laughs> all right good night guys good morning my friends it was a wonderful night the snow kept falling on my tent and i love that sound so much and now the sun is shining so i can't wait to get out there and see how much snow is on the tent but just looking in here, it looks like a lot. <laughs> it's pretty much more than halfway up the tent on the sides. Of course, it falls on the tent and then it slides down. But, I mean, look at this. <laughs> and the door is halfway. I cleared it several times yesterday evening when I went out. To do things and this is just from last night after I went out for the last time so <laughs> and there's lots of snow up on the roof so we have to clear that before we get out things I love about this tent is that you can actually zip the door in a way that it doesn't open all the way so you can step over the snow <laughs> so I'm keeping the zipper down <laughs> see how much snow there is this is how high it is. So I can actually step out the tent without having the snow fall into it. Wow. <laughs> There's my sled. Do you see that little bump in the snow? <laughs> completely buried. There it is. 
not. <laughs> a lot of snow it's wonderful it's going to be fun to find all the stakes and unbury my tent It's exactly what I hoped for. Lots of snow, warm and cozy in the tent. I was hoping for a little bit more wind, but that was the night before and I wasn't camping the night before yet, so. Ah, it was perfect. It was really perfect. Now I have to snowshoe my way back out of here. The snow is so deep everywhere now. And uh, thankfully the trails are marked super well here. Uh, snowshoe trails and ski trails. But um, I'll finish up my breakfast here and then we'll have to pack up soon and head out again sadly.
The main trail that goes to the shelter and it's really well trampled. I mean I don't even need to snow shoes. <laughs> so this is going to be way easier than I thought it would be. I'm very happy about this. Oh my god. Can you imagine going through a foot of snow for and two miles or so without a trample? It would take me forever. <laughs> Well, my friends, our adventure is coming to an end, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think this was the most epic snow adventure I had so far, with the most snow for sure, and the most distance traveled also to get to my camp spot. So that was amazing, and I really enjoyed every minute of it. But I'm almost at the parking lot now, and I'll be heading home, unpack everything, hang up my big tent to dry somewhere <laughs> and that's about it uh, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who also enjoy adventures as much as I do and you do <laughs> and uh, be safe out there but have lots of fun have your own fun adventures I'll talk to you soon my friends